A correlation is a relationship between two variables, say a and b. Now, if a increases and b also increases, this is known as a positive correlation. It could also be a positive correlation if a were to decrease and b were to decrease. In other words, if they both do the same thing. The converse to this is known as a negative correlation, and that is when one variable increases, say A increases, then the other decreases. Of course, it would also be a negative correlation if A were to decrease and B were to increase. Now, if we take an example of two variables, say cigarette consumption and lung cancer deaths, it is possible to identify a correlation without doing an experiment, just simply from observations of cigarette consumption and lung cancer death. These observations have shown a high positive correlation. In other words, when the cigarettes smoked per person per year are relatively high, the lung cancer deaths per 100,000 people are also relatively high. You can see that in this graph. However, just because we see that as one variable increases, the other variable also increases, this does not actually tell us whether smoking causes lung cancer. It just tells us that there's a relationship between them, a correlation, but it doesn't indicate a cause. Simply by looking at this graph, we are not aware as to whether other variables that are not shown on the graph might have had an influence on the relationship. To establish the cause of a correlation, controlled scientific experiments must be done. In the example we've been looking at to see whether smoking actually causes lung cancer, a number of scientific experiments have been done. And there has been evidence collected that shows that smoking increases the chances of contracting lung cancer. That all being said, the primary point to be made here is that the existence of a correlation does not necessarily establish a causal relationship. It may or it may not, but a controlled scientific experiment is needed to establish cause.